Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwicepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn how to populate a sales fact at the monthly level. Over here, in our previous example, what we saw was a fact table which was loaded on a daily basis and the granularity was on daily. Now in this case, we are going to populate the sales fact table, sales month fact table from the corresponding sales table which was on a daily grain and we want to populate this table at a monthly granular level. So this kind of jobs runs on a month end basis and let's check the implementation in data services. So in the initialization script over here we are using the dollar CDC date which will capture the last day of extraction of this particular job based on the batch load control table. So based on the last date of month, month end extraction we are going to extract new records from the sales fact table. So over here we have used where the load date is greater than the last date of extraction. This sales fact is our source and we are going to populate our monthly level sales fact table. So over here next we have used a query transform to populate our month key because the grain is at monthly level. So over here we have taken a substring of the first six characters of the date key. So that will give us the month key, corresponding month key. Next we need to aggregate and sum up as a monthly level. So we have used a query transform. We have used the group by on customer key, product key and month key. And we have performed a summation operation on the measure which is quantity followed by the date of load for each of these records and we have used the global variable dollar sys date. So this is very simple. This is how we are going to implement a monthly level sales fact table. This is how the final table looks like. We have the customer key, product key and the month key followed by the measure which is quantity and uh, load date to signify the date of ex uh, load, load of this record. And as usual we have uh, performed a basic error handling using the overflow file. So in case of any rejection during loading the records, we can capture those errors record in the overflow file and can handle accordingly. And the rest of the job designs remains the same. Any exceptions is being handled in the catch block. And finally, we mark the status of that record in the batch load control table to success. That's it. For any question, please visit dwbiconcepts.com. Thank you.